Dale and our officers are already in full force monitoring holiday weekend fun. KITV4's Nana Okawa has more on the scene at the no drinking zone at the Kaneohe Sandbar. Boats and floaties are already lining the sandbar, ready for Labor Day Monday. Officers are inspecting boats, making sure life jackets and boat sound devices are working as they should. It's been bad in the past out here. Officers aren't going to take any chances. They got to know that we was born and raised over here, and that's what we do, yeah? and whatever. They got to respect that. We can respect them. In the past, we've had situations where we get large groups, some of them organized, some of them unorganized. You know, people start drinking, they start getting rowdy. We've had, we've had fights out at the sandbar that have carried into the harbor. Um, we've had injuries, we've even had a fatality related to the drinking out here. The sandbar is considered a safety zone marked by orange buoys. No alcohol or drugs are allowed within these markers. There are already seven officers watching the sandbar safety zone area. Tomorrow, you can definitely expect more. Tomorrow, officials will post more patrol vessels to keep an eye on holiday partiers. If we, if we slow down our operations out here, it might go back to the way it was. So it's kind of at a maintenance level at this point. Most of the citations we have been issuing in the last a couple of years have been, you know, parking issues as well as boating safety. No citations have been handed out yet, but officers predict dozens will be tomorrow. They'll be looking out for alcohol consumption, disorderly conduct, and violations of boating safety. I think it's great. I mean, we have nothing to hide, so, it, I mean, you got to just follow the rules. Nana Okawa, KITV 4 News. Safety zone violations may be subject to a civil penalty of a minimum $50 fine.